Hey guys, so the product review for this video is for the Dainese Nikita Pell um, ladies letter jacket and this jacket is actually um, <clears throat> obviously not waterproof but it looks really nice and it doesn't scream motorcycle jacket although because of the shoulder pads and elbow pads um, maybe it's a little, um, not as obvious as other jackets, but, um, you know, you still get the same protection. Here, I'll just show you guys. It fits really nice, by the way. So it fits, um, the other, in the other video, I'll show you guys the touring jacket. And that obviously looks a lot like a motorcycle jacket. This one from far away, I mean, it just looks like I have big shoulders. <laughs> um, anyways, so why I like this jacket is because it does give you, you know, it has elbow protection, it's leather, so you know that your skin is protected. It has uh, shoulder pads. It has, um, oh, I'm sorry, let me show you. It has room for a back protector which I didn't put on this jacket. I do have one. And you just, on the bottom part here, there's a zipper where you put the, and you just slip it on here and you're good to go. I like this jacket because unlike other leather jackets, this has a lot of pockets. So inside, as you can see, or, there. There's an inside pocket big enough for your phone, wallet, or both. And, sorry, my hair got caught. Okay. And um, this is also a pocket. You can put uh, deep enough to put credit cards and maybe a few keys. These, um, the side pockets are really big, so actually, yeah, you can put more stuff there if you want, so you don't have to carry a purse. And same on the other side. And these ones here are vents, so if it gets hot, you can open it, open this side. And same goes, you know, um, it's not advisable for people to ride with jackets that are completely open because then it's useless. So if it does get too hot, what I do is I just do half zip. So, I mean, it's, you know, the it's better if you zip it all the way because you're more protected that way, but um, sometimes it just gets too hot. Um, it's really comfortable. However, the first time you get this jacket, it's going to be, um, and this is how it looks like from the back. Um, the first time you get this jacket is going to be really stiff and um, it takes a few rides to break them in or if you want you can do yoga <laughs> and try to kind of loosen up the leather uh, this the buttons normally anyway on most motorcycle jackets are really stiff but eventually they're easy to clip and unclip but they were stubborn in the beginning you can loosen up the sleeve that way too so you're not too restricted. Same here. There you go. I like how it doesn't, um, you know, the, the brand and the logo is very subtle. Like you can barely tell that it's Dainese. It just looks like a nice leather jacket. Um, so that's how it fits on the side. There's tabs here that you can, um, you know, to make it tighter. Um, I just leave it as is. There. So this jacket is a size 40 and this fits just right. My, um, I don't plan on putting a lot of clothing underneath the jacket, you know, the same thing, um, not the same as 
my purpose for my touring gear. So I got a size closer to my um, height and weight, which is, so I'm 5'4 and 116 pounds and size 40 uh, for ladies like easy is um, for this jacket or any of their leather jackets is um, perfect for my size. Um, let's see, what else can I tell you guys? Did I already say it's about $300 for this jacket? Um, you know, it depends where you buy it. So $300 to $400 depends where you get it. Um, there is a Dainese store in San Francisco. I just can't remember how much they're selling it for. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions, just leave, um, you know, just leave comments. And I'll post uh, on the description of uh, where to to find this jacket or you know where to buy this jacket on the description and if you guys um, like this video just click on like and subscribe thanks for watching